if you're new to Latte Art, here are five essential tips for you. No matter which machine you have, you definitely need a stainless steel milk pitcher. This will allow you to easily control the temperature of your milk. When you are in the process of steaming your milk, try not to reach above 65 degrees. Above this temperature, you'll most likely burn your milk and your foam won't hold. If you hear squeaking noises, it's because you haven't injected enough air into your milk. In this case, place your steam wand deeper into the milk. If on the other hand you hear a sort of buzzing sound, you've probably exceeded the recommended temperature and you are burning your milk. Always remember to start with cold milk. It will give you a thicker and smoother foam. It will also allow you to take the time to properly steam your milk, which is not possible with milk that is already hot. Once you've made your milk foam, it's time to texture it. You can tap your jug against your work surface to break any excess air bubbles. Next, gently swirl the milk and foam together until you obtain a smooth, glossy foam. Before starting latte art, you need to think about choosing the right cups. I tend to recommend porcelain cups, as they keep your drink hotter for longer. To start your latte art, you need to hold your cup facing you and tilt it at a 45 degree angle. Place the milk pitcher between 6 and 8 cm from the edge of the cup and pour the milk into the center. Swirl it around and remove any traces of milk. When the cup is half full, you can tap the milk pitcher against the edge of the cup to keep the foam on the surface. After that, each figure has its own technique and different steps. But remember that mastering latte art requires a lot of practice. So it's time to get started. 